In this video, we're going to continue looking at how to find the exponential function when you're given two points. So let's start off with the example where we're given the coordinates of 0, 8, and 4, 2048. Remember when you're doing this, this first coordinate, since it contains 0 for the x, it represents your y-intercept, which means that 8 is your a value. 4 and 2048 are a coordinate, so we're going to let 4 be x and 2048 be y. So the first thing you want to do is label your a, your x, your y. And then let's write down an exponential function, y equals a times b to the x power. We know y, we know x, we know a, we need to know b. So let's plug in what we know and we'll solve for b. So I have 8 for my a value. I have 4 for my x value, so 8 times b to the fourth power, and 2048 for my y value. So my equation is 2048 equals 8 times b to the fourth. First thing I want to do is isolate the b, so I'm going to divide both sides by 8. And that's going to give me 256 equals b to the fourth. Now, from this point, I can do the fourth root of both sides to cancel out the fourth power, or I can raise both sides to the one fourth power. So, in this example, I'm going to use the exponents, and in the next example, I'll use the roots. So, I'm going to take and I'm going to raise this side to the one fourth power. That way it cancels out the fourth power, which means I have to do the same thing to the left side. So 256 to the one fourth power is going to be four. And then b to the fourth and one fourth are going to cancel to give me the first power. So I have b is four. Common error is to stop there. People think, oh, I have a value for a variable, so I'm done. That's not what the problem is asking. The problem is asking for us to write an exponential function. So I go back to this y equals. I'm going to plug in just the a and b values. y equals a was 8, so 8 parentheses, 4 was my b value to the x power. And there's the exponential function. Let's do the same thing on this example. 0, 3 fourths and 2, 36.75. Again, we notice that since our x coordinate is 0, this is my y intercept, which means this is my a value. And I'm going to label the other ones as my x and my y. So an exponential function is of the form y equals a times b to the x. I know my y value is 36.75. I know my a value is 3 fourths. I don't know what b is. I know my x is 2. So to get rid of multiplying by 3 fourths, I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 4 thirds. And that's going to give me 49 equals b squared. Like I said, in this example, I'm going to use the roots and not the exponents. To cancel out squaring, I square root both sides. And so the square root of 49 is 7. So 7 is my b value. So now to write the exponential equation, use my a and my b. y equals a was 3 fourths parentheses, my b we found was 7 to the x power. And that is our exponential function. So once you get the pattern down of labeling your a, your x, your y values, it's pretty easy to do. You plug in what you know. To solve for b, isolate it first by getting rid of your coefficient of a by doing the opposite operation, and then work with the exponents. You can use rational exponents to cancel them out, or you can use roots to cancel them out. 